For about a year now, artist and photographer Andres Serrano has been preparing for a museum-styled multimedia installation, The Game, All Things Trump, as an apt reflection of an unusual business icon who became president. Serrano says the exhibition is a portrait of U.S. President Donald Trump that features more than 1,000 objects he purchased mostly from eBay at a cost of nearly $200,000. A 10-foot-high, rotating ego sign in bold letters from Taj Mahal's Ego Lounge sits in the center of the first floor of a former nightclub in Manhattan's Meatpacking District, where the exhibit is on display. Serrano only met Trump once when he photographed him in 2004 for his America series, which was comprised of more than 100 portraits of people from various professions and backgrounds. A large print of the portrait is the only one of Serrano's own works in the show. I've always said that my work is very basic. It's about life, death, religion, sex, race, and everything that people think about. So what is it now that occupies everyone's thoughts? It's Donald Trump, Serrano said. 30 years ago, Serrano's infamous P.S. Christ, 1987 infuriated conservatives, drawing national attention surrounding the culture wars over government funding of art. Now, Serrano is partnering with Apolitical, an arts initiative based in London whose mission is to support artists producing socially engaged work, and he is not shying away from making art out of controversial subject matter. There are a lot of things that concern me about this administration, Serrano said. In a way, I can understand what happened. It seems like Donald Trump had a lot of cards in his favor, just being the antithesis to Barack Obama. I see his election as a backlash to Barack Obama's presidency. Some of the most fascinating items Serrano collected are magazine and tabloid covers featuring Trump over the past three decades, including high profile autographed covers that were critical of him. An autographed copy of Esquire, with a headline that reads, Hater in chief might inspire a laugh, but by signing these covers, Trump suggests he's bigger than the opinions of his critics and American voters. Ironically, the same ideals that many people once admired about Trump are the same ones that many now hate. 